Hello folks, and uh, welcome back to another mission for this Let's Play Devil May Cry 3. We're on mission 12 of Virgil, which means we get unlimited double trigger and unlimited ownage. I don't have any money to spend, so yeah. Okay, let's go. So Virgil's got two cool devil triggers here. Uh, Force Edge and Yamada are the same, obviously. Beowulf looks pretty nifty. And I'm just going to dominate people. You know, the only downside with this is that I actually don't get unlimited spiral swords. The double trigger gauge actually gets used up for them. Oh, land. And as you can see, I'm just going to absolutely destroy everybody. Not even fair. Oh, hello. It's actually kind of fun to do. Oop, a little bit of lag there. No big deal. And that takes care of that. No problem. And off we go. And of course these assholes never make anything easy. Good thing about this room is, even with Dante before, it was kind of a pain in the ass to get around, but... All the trickster moves and all that cool stuff with Virgil, it's not hard. It's just unlimited ownage right now. And that all works out pretty well. And this room blows just a bunch of blood raven, blood doils, whatever you call them. You know. They're just stupid and annoying. But unfortunately, I cannot avoid them here. You need to use trick up so you can actually get up to the next area, and if you have these enemies here, you gotta target them, so it's a pain in the butt. Uh, so I gotta kill them. Screw you. assholes are all over me. And of course since my health is draining, this kind of makes it annoying, but it's not too bad, luckily. Ugh. There we go. So again, I need to use Trick Up here, and if they were there, I couldn't do that. Unless they were positioned just right. But, uh, I mean, it's kind of a pointless difficulty in the grand scheme of things, so fuck that. Screw you, asshole. Oh, 
know why I jumped into that directly. I tried to do a trick up there, actually. I think that takes care of that. Not too bad, not too bad. Now oh, interestingly he's got that red glow there for Dante's double trigger, which of course they did not change for Virgil's little cutscene there, I guess. And we are done with the double trigger there. Okay. Now I could go fight Arkham slash Jester, but I don't care because he's annoying. And I'm just going to go on to the boss. Which is, of course, Garyon. Now much like Dante, Garyon is actually easier on Dante Must Die mode. So we're going to have to deal with the slightly more difficult version of him here. Hot shots in on him with Bale up here. Just like that. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Good enough. Oh boy! And for some reason, I don't know why, he, he just doesn't seem to get stunned there at the start of that fight. I, I haven't been able to figure that out quite yet. Uh, Dante's uh, Killer B seems to go right through him, but not the case with Virgil Starfall for whatever weird reason. As you can see, it's actually got a weird hitbox. Yeah. Of course the asshole hits me there. And I got a couple of different ways to dodge with Virgil. You can use trick uh, forward or whatever you want to call it. And sorry the video got desynced there and I also got hit because of it. Fuck you. Still got some pot shots in here too. Oh boy. Got him. Taking a lot of damage though. Uh, that's nothing new for a carry on fight with me at least. And no reason to use spiral swords right now. Oh boy. Good enough. Not quite as excellent of a figure around fight as I would have liked, but I will take it. <laughs> I 
I don't know how I got an A for damage there. That's ridiculous. Cool. Anyways, yeah, that was fun. I wish I had more unlimited devil trigger, but we can get that if we beat Devil May Die mode, or Dante Must Die mode, blah blah blah. Cool. Anyways, another S mission. We're gonna be on a mission 13 next, another Virgil versus Virgil fight. Join me for that. Otherwise, stick with me and thanks for watching.